Hey guys, Winter here, and in today's video we'll be talking about SAS, but most specifically Kagero, and how he might be the best supporter in the game. But real quick before we get into the video, I just want to say that only 1.4% of viewers who watch are actually subscribed. So if you enjoy the video or found it helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button and maybe even give me a like too. Alright, let's get in the video. You have got to be kidding me. I can't go out like this. So I know you're thinking that, really, Kagro of all people is the best supporter? Well, I wouldn't make such a bold statement without proof. So first, let's talk about why his SAS is so good. Overall, invisibility is a pretty solid SAS. It makes you invisible so enemies won't detect you. Whenever you make your first attack, most of the time it will be a critical hit dealing increased damage and crush damage, and you gain access to backstab, though it's not very useful uh, using the rest of your SAS gauge to do immense crush damage to only one enemy. But level 3 is where the fun begins, allowing you to stay in invisibility for about 3 seconds after making your first attack, meaning most of your attacks for that time will be critical hits dealing insane crush damage. In addition to that, his level 6 sustained invisibility increases the duration to about 7 or 8 seconds, meaning you can do crits for so long. And critical invisibility is alright, but it's not that useful, and it hasn't really saved me out of any tight situations. Alright, so let's get into some of the gameplay. So firstly, I just want to point out a few things about the footage. Number one being my Kagro's only bond level 5. And two, I am playing on hard difficulty. And even though I am on a hard difficulty, properly using Kagro's SAS can make enemies go down in only one or two hit. Another great way to drain Crush Gauge in combat is to use Psychokinesis Throw. Used in conjunction with Kagro SAS, it'll one-shot most basic enemies. Something very important to remember about Kagro SAS is that when used in combat, It'll turn off after a few seconds. You have to make sure to refresh it, or else you're just not going to be doing near as much damage or crush damage. You can really see the difference right here between not having Kagro SAS and having Kagro SAS. I found that the best pairing to have with Kagro would be Kyoka, because her duplication ability can create up to two duplicates of yourself, and while they don't do as much regular damage, it appears that they do either similar or as much crush damage. From there, I would go ahead and recommend either Hanabi or Shinden depending on what enemy you're facing. And lastly, you can use whoever you want situationally for your fourth, but I typically use either Arashi or Gemma for if I need to deal damage or tank damage. Alright, so I know it's been a bit of a shorter video, but I just discovered this the other day and it's been very helpful to me and I wanted to share it with you guys. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you want to see more like this, subscribe as well. And if you have any cool or interesting tips, don't be afraid to leave them in the comments below. I'd love to read them. And yeah, thanks for watching.